She was ripped off by someone who promised to help her, but then she was afraid to go to police. Her story is one of the reasons that Weld County is now reaching out to immigrants. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez talked to the victim, and Lance, she lost $1,600 to a notary public. A notary public, Mike, who promised to help her husband become a legal resident. Now, Erica Hernandez's husband came to the United States from Mexico when he was 15 years old. She was working with immigration officials to change his status when she met that notary public across the street at countryside of Greeley. She told us to cancel everything because she were doing it wrong. Erica Hernandez says she put her faith in the notary public, Eva Rodriguez, who operated out of her mobile home. We paid her a total of 1600 When her husband didn't get his immigration documents, Erica contacted Rodriguez, who she says was suddenly nowhere to be found. She tried calling her. No answer. Did you guys go to police? We did not. Why not? For the fear, since my husband was illegal, entered the United States illegal, the fear of him being deported back. Well, County is now reaching out to people like Erica and to immigrants, encouraging them to report crime and to trust law enforcement. Sheriff John Cook says that's critical to successful prosecution. There's nothing worse than somebody reporting a crime and then just before it goes to trial, they say, I don't want to get involved or I don't want to do anything. But some immigrant rights activists say Well County hasn't been too friendly. They point to a raid at the local beef plant and the confiscation of thousands of immigrant tax documents during an ID theft investigation. I asked the DA if crime victims have reason to fear deportation. We don't investigate victims. We investigate the criminal and investigate the crime, and, and that's what our focus is. Erica Hernandez Hernandez calls the outreach by law enforcement great. She says it shows there are people willing to back you up and says she believes they will eventually find the woman who she says took her money. Now, Ken Buck says the case against that notary public is still under investigation. He says his new crime prevention program will educate the immigrant community about wage theft, cash for document scams, and consultant fraud, among other things. Live in Greeley, Lance Hernandez, 7 News. All right, Lance, thank you very much.